Most people, as far as I understand it, write code and then start thinking of the tests after. Test-driven development is don't do what I just said. Do write the code or write the tests first of, in this case, this should happen. In this case, this should happen. I haven't tried that with AI, vibe coding, large language models yet. I do wonder if that would, I mean, like be better. Develop benchmarks for things that the AI is failing at today so that you can quickly rerun it as new things come out to evaluate, is it there yet? Doing that with like the word strawberry for a few different models, like count the number of R's in the word strawberry. Yes, but nobody needs to count the number of R's in the word strawberry for their work. So there's a whole bunch of different benchmarks that a lot of different large language models go up against. And a bunch of these are like real world coding problems these days. Yeah, but I'm saying the hell with those benchmarks. What is your job? Do you build financial models? Do you audit receipts? Do you build presentations? Do you write emails? Do you create social media posts? Right. Do you write copy for e-commerce listings? I don't know what your job is, but try to do your job in AI. See how well it does. Assuming that it can't do it for you yet. If it, it does it for you, don't tell anyone and just make sure for as long as you can. But if it doesn't, like develop that test, but have this sort of self-contained test when a new release comes out, Put your just, own test suite together is yes, what you're saying. Everybody yes. should have a test suite of their own job. Can AI do it yet? And as soon as you can automate your own job, don't tell anybody. This is TDL, test-driven life. Test-driven life. I love yes. that. 